In this video, we will look at the basic concept about the order statistics. Let's look at the setting first. Suppose capital X1, capital X2 to capital XN are N independent and identically distributed continuous random variables having a common density F and distribution function capital F. We define capital X sub parentheses one to be the smallest of these n random variables and capital X sub two be the second smallest, so forth and so on. Capital X sub n is the largest of these n random variables. Then these n newly defined random variables are known as the order statistics corresponding to the random variables x sub 1 or the way to x sub n. In other words, the order statistics are just another set of random variables derived from the given random variables x sub n. In other words, the order statistics are just obtained by ordering the random variables x sub 1 to x sub n from small to large. We want to point out that the order statistics are closely related to other important concepts in statistics, such as median and range. In fact, the median of a collection of samples is just the sample right at the middle when we list the samples from small to large. On the other hand, the range is no more than just the difference between the smallest sample and the largest. To illustrate the definition, let's look at the following rather simple numerical example. Consider capital X sub 1, capital X sub 2, and capital X sub 3. If capital X sub 1 equals 3, capital X sub 2 equals 2, and capital X sub 3 equals 1, then the statistics would be given by 1, 2, and 3, respectively. On the other hand, if capital X sub 1 equals 3, capital X sub 2 equals 1, and capital X sub 3 equals 2, the order statistics would take upon the exact same value as in the last case. That is, even if the original samples take upon different values, the order statistics could still be the same value. Now the question is, how many possibilities can we achieve the same order statistics? For instance, for our order statistics to take upon the value one, two, and three, there are four other combinations for the sample values on top of the two that we have discussed. In other words, if we permute a same set of distinct values among the samples, we will end up with the exact same order statistics. Since the number of permutation of any n distinct values is just given by n factorial, based on the observation that we have just made, we rarely come to the following general fact. For n distinct values, x sub 1 less than x sub 2 less than all the way to x sub n, there are n factorial possibilities for the order statistics to take up the values capital X sub parentheses 1 equals x sub 1 and all the way to capital X sub parentheses n equals x sub n. This observation leads to the following important result. The joint density function of order statistics 
are simply given by n factorial times f of x sub 1 times all the way down to f of x sub n when x sub 1 less than x sub 2 less than all the way to x sub n and 0 elsewhere. Know that in this expression, we make use of the fact that the random variables capital X sub 1 to capital X sub n are independent. We are now ready to look at a classical application of order statistics. Let's work on the following problem. Along a road one mile long are three people distributed at random. Find the probability that no two people are less than d miles apart when d is no more than one half. Let's illustrate the idea behind this problem. In the first figure over here, we use capital X1, 2, and 3 to denote the location of these three people. In this particular distribution, the distance between those three people are one fourth, one fourth, and one half. If we choose D to be one fifth, then no two people in this distribution are less than D miles apart. If we utilize these order statistics, then capital X sub parentheses one is one fourth, capital X sub parentheses two is one half, and capital X sub parentheses three is three over four. And we have the condition that capital X sub parentheses three greater than capital X sub parentheses two plus D, which in turn is greater than capital X sub parentheses one plus D as well. In this case, the required condition is satisfied. In this second scenario, these three people are distributed at 0 0.25, 0 0.5, and 0.6. In particular, we observe that capital X sub parentheses three is less than capital X sub parentheses two plus D, where D is 0 0.2. So the desired condition is less than capital X sub parentheses two plus D, where D is 0 0.2. So the desired condition is not satisfied. To summarize, we observe that no two people are less than D miles apart if and only if the order statistics satisfy the following condition. For simplicity, we just assume that distributed at random means that the position of the three people are independent and uniformly distributed over the road. Consequently, the John density function for the order statistics is just three factorial times f of x sub one times f of x sub two times f of x sub three. But f is simply the constant function one. Hence, we have John density function equals to simply three factorial when x sub one is less than x sub two, less than x sub three. To finish this problem, we just need to compute the probability of this event, which is just the integral of the John density function over the given region. We would like to set up the iterator integral in the x sub three, x sub two, then x sub one order. Recall that the John density function is simply three factorial the integration limit for the first variable, namely x sub 3, is just from x sub 2 plus your d to 1, which is the upper bound of this interval. The integration limit for the second variable is from x sub 1 plus d 
to one minus d, because if we get beyond one minus d, then no matter how we place the people, the difference between x2 and x3 must be less than d, contrasting our condition. Similarly, the upper bound for the integral of the last variable x sub 1 is just 1 minus 2d, while the lower bound is given by 0. Then, through a direct computation, we conclude that the integral is equal to 1 minus 2d cubed. That is, the probability of no two people are less than d miles apart on this one mile long road is given by 1 minus 2d cubed. And this completes our first application of the order statistics. Thank you for watching. Until next time, have fun with the math.